Hey everyone, Andy here again, and I'm back with the uh, Sony SR PC4 uh, download station for the SR uh, memory cards uh, from Sony as well. Uh, these uh, are the cards used in the F65. And if you watched my last video on the F65 uh, downloading and uh, working with the footage from it with the PC4, then you already are familiar with how to work with this unit. Uh, in the previous video, I showed how to download the SR memory cards uh, and, and work with the, uh, the, the PC4 for playback, etc. So, uh, Watch those videos if you haven't seen those before. Uh, in this video, I want to show you uh, how to work with uh, the footage uh, from the F65 in post. Uh, particularly, we're going to focus on working with the SR compression format of video. So uh, the camera, uh, the F65, can shoot in both uh, F65 RAW and now with the latest firmware can also shoot in SR compression. SR compression is the same uh, format used in the uh, HD Cam SR tapes, but now it's in a sort of digital media format. Uh, you get the same format on the SR R1, uh, etc. So uh, it's really easy to work with this footage. The, comp the actual plugins for Final Cut and Avid have been out for some time now. Uh, so we can, uh, once I've downloaded those clips off the car, which I've already done, uh, I can work with them pretty much right away in different an different analyses. So I'm going to go to my computer here, and we'll check out uh, what uh, how how to work with SR compression. Uh, format on the computer. So <clears throat> uh, first, I'll open up my finder here, and I have on my computer here, I have some uh, folder, F F65 raw, F65 download. I have a raw footage folder, and I have my SR compression. Uh, I'm going to go down the chain here and open up a clip. Uh, I have a couple different clips here. I'm going to go into this one, uh, which has a clip of Mitch. Now, right away, you can see that I can actually play back these clips in, uh, in QuickTime Player, uh, there's Mitch, oh, sorry Mitch, there you go. Uh, by the way, we back up here a little bit, the, the clips are, have been named by the camera A002, clip 001, etc. Uh, all the way down to clip 0011. This is a naming convention set up in the camera, so you can do that just so you know. Uh, and each clip ha is in an MXF file format. Now the reason why I can actually just go ahead and just preview it right here in the, in the preview window is because I have a Final Cut Pro uh, plugin installed which works with QuickTime which allows me to preview things uh, in my viewer. Now, where I get the compression, the installers, and et cetera, is from the F65 website, uh, which I can just go to. It's already open here, but I'll show you the link, www.sony.com slash F65. You go there, and uh, there it is, F65 site. Go to television, and direct to edit, NLE. If I expand that, You'll see I have plug I have uh, Avid Media Composer, AMA plugins, Final Cut Pro plugins, and also a plugin for uh, Sony Vegas. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. It's gonna open a page up here, which will actually put me to where I can download these clips, uh, these these files, uh, including the uh, Avid Media Composer plugin for Windows and Mac, the Final Cut Pro plugin, and also the SR Viewer. Now, so so Sony does have an SR Viewer uh, application working with these clips as well. It actually comes on a, with, on a CD with the purchase of the camera, but you can always want to download the latest version off their website. The SR Viewer looks like this, and you can see I already have clips open here. I have some 60i content from Sony, and I have uh, my clip of Mitch. Sorry, Mitch, again. Uh, there it is. Uh, and this program actually just works as a standalone viewer in PC and Mac. And in the, in the Mac version, I can actually choose to save a clip as a QuickTime file if I want to, uh, which would then work e easily in Final Cut Pro. I don't need to do this though, I'll show you in the next step, I can actually work directly with Final Cut Pro. So uh, there's the viewer, it's a quick viewer. By the way, the camera right now uh, exclusively shoots in S-Log, S-Gamut, basically uh, when I'm in SR compression, shooting in S-Log. So that's why Mitch is looking so flat here relatively. Uh, this clip's already been, it's been shot with a different camera, with an SR-R1. Uh, so this, this is Mitch in S-Log, we have to apply a lookup table to that to make it look more normal. Uh, so. We'll leave that for now. Uh, if, once I've been uh, back to the, the website here, if I've uh, been working with, if I want to work with this footage in Final Cut or Avid, I should install these plugins. Once I do so, uh, the first thing I notice with the Final Cut Pro plugin is that it'll make it so I can actually preview the, the clips uh, in my Finder, which is great. That's just right there. Hit spacebar and pops up. Uh, it'll also make it so that I can work with the files directly in Final Cut without a problem. Here's Final Cut Pro. File. Make a new. Make a new sequence. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and just drag this file. I'm going to have to use log and transfer. I can just drag this file right over 
There's the MXF file in, in Final Cut. Go figure. Open that up, and there's Mitch again. Now, I could also choose to transcode this in something else. Uh, it does work in my timeline, it's, uh, but you need a pretty fast machine to really get this to, to play back without a little orange bar there. But it will play back, and you can edit it in it. Again, I recommend, though, converting it to something else, uh, ProRes or something, just for editorial purposes anyway, uh, for editing. editing. It is an S-log. You wouldn't need to apply a lookup table to that to get it out of there. Uh, this is the same lookup tables that we uh, have used in other, for other applications, like in the F3. They could be used here as well. Uh, so uh, there's my footage in Final Cut Pro, just like that, that easy to use. So uh, what about Avid? Let's hide this real quick. Hide that. Go to Avid. Avid uh, uses the uh, Avid Media Access uh, uh, option, which is the AMA option, to bring in clips uh, from the outside world. Uh, so if I, if I want to do that here, I go File, Link to AMA File. I'll go, I'll go down to my, find my clip here. There's, there's some different clips. I'll choose that same one, the, the last one there, open it up, uh, and I have myself Mitch again. Bring it down to my timeline if I want to. And that's that. So right into uh, Avid AMA. Again, once again, I probably want to choose to transcode this within Avid, uh, just something a little more easy to, to deal with in terms of Avid for a lot of, in terms of Avid formats, like DNX HD. Uh, and then come back to this original material. So for finishing, for example, if I'm leaving, once I leave AMA, I, I can go to a program like DaVinci Resolve, which does support now the SR compression as well natively, which is great. Uh, and, and something like Scratch also will support that. So SR compression is being used all over the pr place already. It's been, it's been implemented very well. Uh, really excited to see uh, Sony evolve it very quickly into the market. In fact, these compression options, these plugins for different applications have been out for many months now. So nice to see it actually in camera working. So very easy to work with SR compression. Uh, and the next step, we're going to look at the uh, S65 raw footage, which takes a little more steps, a little more complicated, but also uh, it can be pretty straightforward once we get our heads wrapped around it. So uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.